definition. Right now at nine, more family members are speaking out tonight after a casket with an infant's remains was moved from Georgia to Western Kentucky 27 years after the baby was buried. Good evening at nine o'clock. I'm Brandon Bartlett. Tonight we're hearing for the first time from the father involved with moving his infant's casket from its resting place in Georgia to Western Kentucky. We first brought you this story last night as the mother of the baby said she was not notified. Kentucky State Police and Georgia authorities tonight continue to investigate the permits involved. Eyewitness News Amelia Young tonight with new information on this case. How would you like it if somebody dug your baby up? without your knowledge. Wesley Newton was just hours old when he died more than two decades ago, buried with his mother's family in Georgia. That is until December 21st. You don't disturb the dead. Number two, after 27 years, really? No, you don't. The child's mother, Karen Manny Suthakis, disturbed after finding out the baby was moved without her consent. I just want my child home and reburied where he belongs. He but the child's father, Steve Newton, says it's a different story. And originally, she was kind of up in the air about it. Then around a year or so ago, she thought it was a good idea. Newton says the idea came from his father, Hancock County Magistrate L.T. Newton. My dad came up with the idea of having him move to Kentucky and do it, putting him in the family cemetery up there. I called a funeral home and told them what I wanted to do and everything and did the paperwork that they sent me. At the time, Newton believed he'd gone through all necessary legal steps to have Wesley moved. I had all my paperwork done through the funeral home. I did not do anything other than go up there and pick him up and transport him to Kentucky. Manny Suthakis says she wasn't notified of the move. He was there for 27 years. He should have never been moved. The casket remains with the Hancock County coroner while authorities investigate. In Hancock County, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.